Hello everybody. I thought I'd do a little quick video on this Scout. This Scout is a uh, 1979 International Traveler. So it's a Scout, but it's a Traveler edition. It's got the uh, fiberglass top on it, which never rusts. This one is um, got the copper exterior with the russet plaid interior. It's an automatic Dana 20 transfer case. Um, of course, it's got Dana 44 front and rear, and it's also got um, disc brakes. Everything is here to make this Scout work. It's just a lot of rust repair. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second. There's the engine compartment. It's complete. Looks like it had um, emissions on it. So it could have been a California Scout. But it's definitely... Um, I, I think it came from Texas, but it could have come to cut them originally from California. But um, it's got this um, aftermarket radiator. I don't even think it goes to this vehicle. It goes to some other vehicle. But um, the engine's all there. I think it's a 345. At least that's what the tag says. I didn't look at the um, stamp on the, blo on the block. But water jet carburetor all this probably needs to be taken apart and um, and looked at the engine i don't think it'll run without um, a rebuild um, the hood's in pretty good shape um, it's got some rust down there that would need um, repaired um, it's got a pretty good grill on it it's got all the bezels and um, turn signals and everything for sway bar it's a pretty straight scout it's just got lots of little rust repair so like here on this fender it needs a new windshield frame um, this part's good the doors aren't terrible um, the fender this fender here is probably the worst and I don't know how much rust it's got in there Sure it's got some this front fascia is pretty good bumpers pretty straight and there again this this fender is probably a little bit better this door is really good and the uh, both of the door panels are in pretty good shape all that's original and it's got the dash somebody did cut the dash it's got the clock so it had a good option there And it's missing the center console top. Now let's see the back seat. So it's got the back seat. Back seat's in good shape. It just needs cleaned up. It's pretty good. Seat belts are there. Um, these lower rocker extensions are uh, would probably need to be cleaned up, maybe replaced. Um, you can buy just that bottom panel. The, the upper quarters are really, really solid all the way down. These end caps are good. They're easily rusty. Um, yeah, it's, that's pretty solid, pretty solid. It's got a nice rear bumper. This end cap's pretty good. It's actually really good. And as you can see, it's pretty straight. This rear floor would need repaired or replaced. I don't think it's completely rusted out but there's uh, definitely sections that's got holes in it but you know it's not terrible i mean you could replace just a section of it if you wanted to i looked like looked at it up there it's much more solid the fender wells look pretty solid just picture of the interior let's get down here and look at the cab corners let's see what those look like There's the cab mounts. They're pretty rusty. The frames, however, not too bad. Pretty solid frame. The floor plans look like they've been coated or something. Okay. 
this rocker, outer rocker's bad on this side. Go look on the other side. This rocker's not terrible. Up there is probably the worst spot. Let's look at the floors on this side. There's cab corner. The floors don't look too bad in this. Rear cross members good. This front floor supports all look great. So it's definitely a scout worth fixing or parting. I mean, there's a lot of good parts on this thing. But I'll make a good price on it. If somebody wants to uh, fix it up. And there she is. She'll need to be towed. She rolls. Not sure if it breaks. Lower this. So here's the Texas tag. I can't tell when it was registered last. It's got a badge there. This top, really, you could clean it up, paint it be brand new the top alone is probably worth thousand fifteen hundred maybe two thousand dollars by itself so anyway got the original windshield the bottom top of the windshield looks good I'll shut this there you go if you have any questions Give me a call. I have the title. I have the title for it, so that's a biggie. And it's got all the VIN plates on it. See you later.